Now, with it being the final few days of the kids' school holidays and travel today, Debbie's been investigating the best animal experiences. Good morning. Good morning. I've been looking for the cute and I found lots of it, so I've got loads to tell you about. First of all, uh, Dunedin was the first experience I wanted to tell you about. Yeah, and what happened in there? You saw some penguin? Penguins, little blue penguins. Now, these are the smallest penguins in the world. So this was when I travelled down there a few months ago to Otago Peninsula. And what they do is they go and feed off the coast all day. Then they come back. They form into rafts, so <gasps> bunches of penguins, and they surf into the coastline. So this is them arriving at the uh, at the beach there. They're cute. They are adorable. It was lovely. And what they do is the Royal Albatross Centre actually runs uh, viewing sessions every evening. So you can go along on a purpose-built platform and watch them. So you're not getting in the way. They don't even know you're there. Ooh. So you go and take pictures of them and they are adorable. Really cold, so rug up warm, but it is well worth doing this time of the year. Yeah, cool experience uh, cost. The, oh, well, I'll tell you what, they've got a special on at the moment. I just talked to them the other day. Half price at the moment for the next three nights. So a family, two adults, three children, $35. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, really good. Um, obviously, I've got a couple of boys. They're driving me insane. <laughs> what other cool things can we do this holiday? Okay, well, <laughs> Wellington Zoo is my next stop, so I want to take you there next. Meerkat experience is something I did a few months ago as well. Yeah. So, I mean, cute fairy things can't go wrong. So you actually go into the enclosure, you get given this egg carton. You get and to touch them. You get to touch them and oh. they don't even realise. So they're crawling all over you looking for the food. So they're sort of, uh, and one even used me as a sentry post. I mean, that's how conditioned they are to <laughs> not worry that you're there. Very cool experience. We learned all about them there. And at the zoo as well, if you don't want to do a hands-on experience like this, they've also got really cool experiences at Wellington Zoo, like uh, become a zookeeper apprentice. So you learn, you spend a day with a zookeeper and you learn all about the job that they do, keeping the animals happy and healthy at the zoo there. I don't want to look after the lion. So, um, and I, I saw you also went to the Hamilton Zoo. Yeah, now this is another cute fairy thing. <laughs> so um, red pandas, we did red pandas right. at Hamilton Zoo. So winter is actually a really great time to go and see red pandas because they are naturally from uh, the mountains of Nepal, wow. Myanmar and central China. Yeah, so you get really close to them. Again, they've been conditioned so that they are really gentle with you. They take the grapes right out of your hand and you can touch them. They, they don't mind you doing that. Wow. Beautiful little creatures. So they've got four of them there that we were interacting with and the kids just like, you can see their little paws just, yeah, yeah going there. And um, so we learned a lot about them. The fact that they're actually their conservation status is actually going backwards at the moment. So they were vulnerable and now they're endangered. And that's due to deforestation of their own habitat. So when you go and do an experience like this, 10% uh, of what you spend doing the experience is actually used for the Wildlife Conservation Fund Great. by Hamilton Zoo. So they do a really good job looking after the wildlife there. And I see Auckland Zoo is also uh, into the conservation side as yeah, well. Yeah, very much so. So you can be an animal champion at Auckland Zoo at the moment. So go along and you get to choose one of the animals species that you want to work with. So you get an animal activity cut sheet, so you, there's, you choose from elephant, kiwi, tiger, tuatara or giraffe and you go around the zoo actually doing interactive uh, activities and fill in your sheet. So they have some really great prizes. So you're learning about conservation going around the zoo having a really great day so rather if you've been to the zoo it means you can go back again and again you know because you're doing something different every time you go there um, another great thing if you want to these holidays is actually the galapagos tortoise experience now i haven't done this but it looks amazing they have four galapagos tortoises at Auckland Zoo. Really? Yeah, so this one is Chippy. She's one of the females and she's absolutely gorgeous. So these are the <laughs> longest living and some of the hugest tortoises in the world. Oh um, so you get to give them afternoon treats, you get to learn all about the conservation efforts that are going on. Give for them a Galapagos. bit of a wash maybe? <laughs> you can give them a bit of a, <laughs> Chippy a bit of a hose down there. Yeah, she needs it. So yeah, some really cool experiences. And it is all about conservation, it's education, learning about the animals as well. So some really great programs going on there. Yeah, I think that my kids would really enjoy that. Yeah. Um, some great travel ideas, uh, certainly for me and I'm sure for all of the mums at home. So thanks so much, Debbie. We'll see you again next week. Great, thanks.